whatever I've shown you on this slide, I want you to, you know, demo on this model, which goes with me wherever I go. Now, this is a model of the uterus, and in real life, this is how it is, like, this is how the, the uterus is. So, this is the coronal plane, but we don't see the coronal plane. So, when we scan, now we're talking about a transabdominal scan, say, this is my transabdominal probe. Okay, the lady's lying like this, but presume she's lying like this. And when my probe is here, this is the array. The array will go front to back, but it will take sagittal planes. So because it takes sagittal planes only, we see this anterior and posterior orientation of the uterus. So let's see the same thing on a clip. As you can see in the clip below, what am I doing? I am doing a side to side. As I said, again, just pay attention to this before you look at the clip again. When my probe is like this, if I were just staying stationary, I would only pick up anterior posterior slice of the mid uterus. But I need to see the margins. I need to see what is on either side of the midline of the uterus. So because of that, I do what is called a side to side movement. But because the uterus is so small, I really don't slide it. I do a side to side movement by if you can see the probe, I'm angulating the probe. Now, why do I call this moment angulation is because if this is, this is the abdomen and this is my probe, I am moving on what is called the broad axis of the probe. So because I'm moving on the broad axis, I'm calling it angulating. And this is the moment that you see in the top left clip. Now, the corresponding uh, movements are happening in the top, I mean, in the bottom right, yeah, so can you see because, so how do I say, how do I know it's the right moment? Because I am sweeping, I am going to the margin of the uterus, losing the margin this side, like this, losing the margin this side, coming to the main body, the uterus, and going to the other margin. So this is called a side-to-side -side sweep, wherein all along I'm getting sagittal planes, which show me the anterior-posterior uh, planes, right from one margin of the other, of, of the uterus to the other margin. But just because I'm moving right and left, I will not, or I should not, call it the right side and left side. So on a sagittal plane, I only know which is anterior, which is posterior, which is the fundus, Upper part, mid part, lower part, and cervix. Now let's look at the transverse plane of the uterus. So what do I do in a transverse plane? This is my sagittal, this is my uterus, this is my probe held sagittally. So for the transverse plane, I will rotate my probe so that the probe marker, the probe marker is always on top. The probe marker is rotated towards the side of the screen marker. Now, when I do that, as you can see from these images, the probe marker is facing the patient's right. Same way as the illustration here. So what do I know? By international consensus, because the screen marker is always on the right side of the patient, whichever structure is here is the right and therefore, whichever structures on the other side is a left. So to comment right and left of the uterus, say for example, there was a fibroid in the right lateral wall, I cannot demonstrate right lateral wall on a sagittal plane. To demonstrate right lateral wall, I have to look at the transverse plane. But what I cannot demonstrate on a transverse still image is I don't know whether it is a fundus, upper corpus, mid corpus, or lower corpus. So in order to study all the planes, what do I do? I am here like this. I will actually sweep because this is a fan. I can't sweep it this way. I am sweeping up and down. So when I'm going up, I always say go up so that you lose the fundus. Then come to the body of the fundus. And then when you go down, as you're going down, you look at the cervix. So I am evaluating the entire uterus in transverse planes right from the cervix to the fundus. So let's take a look at this in, on a clip. As you can see, that red uh, mark is something that I have put on the probe to indicate the probe marker. So the probe marker is to the patient's side. Now let's look at the, uh, the bottom right clip. Okay, never mind. What is the, even, even from a still image, you know that this is the ovary. This is another ovary. So I know this is a right ovary, left ovary from, uh, you know, from a still image. But I'm not interested in the ovary right now. What I'm interested is in the uterus. So just watch the clip. 
So can you see that it's going up and this white line that you see here is the funnel serosa. So I'm moving the probe up till I lose the funnel serosa and then I'm coming down till I see the cervix. So these are the corresponding, uh, you know, moments of the probe as well as the clip. So this is how we look at the uterus, both sagittal and in transverse plane. So this is an entire, this is a clip showing the entire sagittal and transverse. Watch it carefully. That's a full bladder, TS image. To call it sagittal, the cervix should be in continuity with the endometrium. Now I have moving side to side, so I'm losing the margin of the uterus and lo lost the other margin as well. So this is my sagittal plane of the uterus. And now I'm t turning a transverse and again I'm going, this is down, I'm going to the cervix, this is the cervix. And then I am going up, this is the endometrium here and that's the fundus. So this is out. So do a side to side for the saddle plane, do an up and down for the transverse plane of the uterus.